What's up, everybody? So it's early on Wednesday morning, and uh, Tony got an email uh, Monday uh, uh, beat on three really rare cars, a uh, 62 Maserati, a 74 Yarma Lamborghini, and a Shelby, and there's three or four other cars in the collection, rumored to be a Ferrari Dino. So uh, we're racing up to Muskogee, Oklahoma, about what, 220 miles? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be up there in about three hours. This is my morning ritual beer before I take a trip, and before I get on a car, plane, air, anything. I take a little bit of a beer, especially because I'm not driving. Maybe I'll have a 12 pack, I don't know. Thank you for waiting on us. We uh, ran a little late. It's okay. Everybody's got to eat, brother. Well, it wasn't just that. We got started a little late too. So it's okay. uh, I don't know. I guess we can start over there with the Maserati. Maserati. Um, what year is that? 62? 62. What's the story on the car as far as the background? Things like that. He's owned it for the last 15 plus years. Okay. 3500 GT. And you're saying now third gear is out or third? Third gear is out. Okay. The, de the uh, drive shaft is here in the truck. Okay. The drive shaft. So it's it's just okay. a roller right now. It's just rolling. I can start it and it'll, it'll, it'll fire right up. I'll trust you on that. Two plus two. Um, have you had it up in the air? What do the floors look like to you? That one, I do not know. You don't know? Okay. Yeah, there's a little here. I mean, I can crawl underneath there and see. We can push it out and find that. No, I'll trust you on that. I, I, yeah, I tend to solid. Was there a little rust over there? No. Okay. Ah, you told me this. Do you know on the James? Is that the right uh, paint color? It, it is looks like it's recent paint. It is the right paint. This is correct. Okay. Is this for sale too? I think she uh, you said it is. It is for the right price. Is this a 350 or 500? 350. 350. Oh, I didn't realize it was convertible. Yeah. A little rodent stab. You know what these are for? Surfboard. Surfboard. That's right. You're actually wrong. They were what? for the surfboard rack. Oh, oh we need some of that. And is this originally black too? Because yes. this this has been sprayed, yeah. Power steering, power brakes, no AC. Top goes down, first goes up. And this felt and this hasn't been fired in a while, has it? It has not. I we smell did. bad gas, so I smell the gas, yeah. That looks right. Rivets on there to look right. It's had some work here too. It looks like I'm on yeah, that side. Got yeah. a little edge on it. All right. Back, yeah. What do you got over there on that number? 8T03J? Yes. I thought there were three cars. What is else is there? No, there, we have five, so there's another shop. The other shop is like two blocks away. So it's two miles. Two miles away. Yeah, that's a 1963 Corvette split window. Um, it's a black car. It's got true knockoffs, which is pretty cool. And uh, it looks like it's been restored. It has. How long ago? Don't give me the line, but I'm thinking at least five. Smell it. You smell it. Oof. Ah. Oof. Huh? That's bad. 
No, I mean, smoke in here. But I know, Sean, you've smelled worse than that. <laughs> Why we gotta bring your mom in there? I'm talking about the gas, man. <laughs> <laughs> you strike your mom. So this has uh, non-factory AC. Or is it factory? Can you see in there, Tony? I think it's non-factory. God, the interior is mint. Crisp. Yeah, those, uh, it's aftermarket. It, yeah, it's not. It's a good looking car. And so we have, there's an MGA, the Austin Healey. Are those the, are those the three ones that are up there? Or is this over here? Which one's over here? Over there. Okay. But it's a cool car. What's the number on this car? What's he asking? Yeah. Around two. What are you seeing? Here's how I look at this. You, you said it was two and I said, you said, hey, this guy's crazy. I go, he's not that far off on the right car. 200 is the real high-end number of this car. So that's a done, done car. It's a done, done car at one, I'm gonna say it's looking at what's out there, 150, 160. Um, but now we gotta back this up. <laughs> and how much are we backing it up? Um, the transmission, I don't know. I guess that's a $10,000 problem. This car, the, the provenance of this car requires that we repair that transmission. You'd mentioned going with, you could go with a Tremec and do an adapter plate and get it to run and drive, but you then have that, a resto mod. The car's worthless at that it's point. It's worthless. Yeah. We have to keep the transmission. I don't know what parts sourcing is gonna be like, getting it repaired, you know, back to original condition, but it, but it, but that's Premier, we have to do that. Okay, so car. we know about where we're talking about now, there. Now you have the interior, so interior it needs to be refurbished, the paint does too, and then the body work, I don't know what we're looking at. I hate seeing shiny paint because you never know what's underneath it. I mean, that being said, this is, I mean, we do this every day. You're gonna b blow you away when I tell you this is a 40 or $45,000 for the body work. In any car, I don't care what it is, that car or this car, that's gonna, it's about 45,000, 10,000, 10,000 worth of interior, and then bracket it up from that, that's 65 out of, out of let's say 185. Um, you know, you're looking at 120 is, is the equal number. I don't want to be equal in any of these. I can grab a burger and go back home. <laughs> um, so, All right, well, let's try to, let's look at more of a package. How much is the Shelby? I'd say close to 100. Okay. I'm really interested in the Corvette. I'm interested in the Shelby. And what else we got to go look at? We're going to work, the Lamborghini is what we came to look at, and That's then there's the MGA and, and the Austin Healey, so I'm hoping those are Yeah, because be I'm, I'm looking cars. at spending all the money and make a package deal, which hopefully gets him off center for everything. Okay. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to waste your time at all. Uh, I'm here to buy. i just trying to place in my head kind of where we're at. And uh, if we want to go over to the other place, we can help you lock down here. And uh, let's go check out the other stuff, because the Yalpa, uh, Yarma I'm interested in, and I, I hate to just go off subject, but that refrigerator looked like it's been dusted for prints or something. <laughs> Did something bad happen to that? <laughs> no, not that I'm aware of. I used to be a cop. That looks like fingerprint dust to me. We got Sean going to check the number on the motor on the Shelby. But Dennis, you said that's, uh, go ahead and give me the specy specs again. Of the car itself? Yeah, I stepped away. Okay, it, it is a factory black car, black interior. White top, automatic, 15 inch steel wheel car with hubcaps, no air conditioning, tilt wheel, and Marshall fog lights. Everything's there on that except for the uh, hubcaps. It's got the, the 10 spokes on it. Somebody put those on at one point. Uh, no air conditioning, white top. What about stripes? Does it tell you stripes or not? Because it's stripe delete right now, on the top anyways. Uh, yeah, you have to go on to SAC to get that. Uh, okay. It's not actually in the book. Gotcha. And uh, I think we're okay on the Maserati if I can get it for a hundred or less, but I don't know if he's gonna go there. I think he's okay on the Shelby and I'm gonna make a run at the Corvette, but I gotta call my client first. And then we're gonna go to the other shop and I'll try to call you on the Yarma and, and the BN1. Sometimes you gotta do a little collab. So we're on to the next place, look at a uh, BN1 uh, and a uh, Lamborghini and maybe an MGA. So here's the cool thing. I talked to Dennis, this Shelby, even though we weren't able to, in its current condition to ascertain the number on the motor, 
It is uh, one of very few black on black cars, which makes it special. With the white top? But it's also, uh, yes, but it's also one of 10 delivered to and sold new to Playboy. Oh. So it was probably part of some type of uh, promotion, giveaway, who knows. Now, it's not one to be confused with being the pink one. You know, they always made a pink one for a while there that they gave to the Playmate of the Year. So uh, it's not one of those, which is good because I've watched the Playmate of the Year cars sell and they usually don't bring as much as a good car, even though they're kind of fun because they were pink. Who wants to drive a pink Shelby? Uh, mostly residential. This is just a hot. How long's he? How long's he had this car? Oh, he's had this same as the Maserati 15 plus. Yeah. She is an odd duck. Yeah, these are really. I mean, they built 300 and the 20. 367, I think. Yeah, the Harama is a shortened wheel, but it's a shortened Islero, right? Yes. Or a spot Islero. So the Islera was too long for the U.S. market. So they, they, short, they, they shortened these up and kept it at two plus two. Did we know when the last time it ran was? Uh, 15, about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, oh, okay. I've got a video of this one running here. Yeah. And then what was the original color? Because I know yellow is not. It's a lightish green, I think is what. So Vert Ithaca, Vert, Verde Ithaca. So, and then when, when was this repainted? Is this under doctors? No, no it was, it's been yellow since he's had it. So he bought it, okay, so we don't know what was underneath. Well, they this tore house. this thing down, I know that. It is um, red and then the uh, original color. Okay. So it's got two, three layers of paint underneath. This got some fill here. Yeah, there's one on the market right now that Dennis sent us that's restored, ready to rock and roll. It's a nice car, probably nicer than this as far as interior and stuff and then they're asking 95. yeah um okay uh the viper it, did you say it's like no miles six thousand okay oh uh, six uh, okay it's a uh it's an 03. she'll fire right up what about the uh what your defender 97. Seven, isn't it? 97. Isn't it cool how they're bringing those back? I like the new ones, mm -hmm. but I'd rather have an old one. Oh, for sure. Everybody would. So what do we got here? That's the MG Just and that's M the Healy. So the Healy's the one I really want to see. I know what it, the MG are. It does are. not have the, uh, it has the um, Le Mans package. Okay. But it's an, it's an add-on. So it that's not, this, the windshield? An, it is not an original Le Mans. Okay. Do you have the um, heritage sheet? He might. He's owned this car probably 25 years or so. That's a big, big question on proving that it's an M1. Uh, is the only acceptable way is with that heritage uh, sheet. So is this almost like Dennis's Goldie? It is. Okay. It predates the Goldie, I think. Really? This is a 55, right? I believe so, yes. So 55 should be a BN1. Well, it should have it should straps. Be. This is just a standard. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a M. Oh, okay. Because it should have had an ether injector underneath here. Yeah. To start it. And there should be a cold air box right here instead of these air cleaners. Those are, and then not having the leather straps <laughs> are kind of dead giveaways, D says. Yeah. Um, well, let's fold that one up, guys. Take a look at the little MG. Huh. MGA. This is just a regular A, right? Not a twin cam. Sixty 
Oh, it looks like it's been freshened up. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, it's... It went through restoration probably about 15 years ago. Yeah, it looks like it was really good. Yeah, no, it's a good-looking car. I mean, they're all good-looking cars. But. I don't know what I'm saying. It's restoration. Yeah. Because that cool pack looks almost brand new. Regulator. Is that, is that why? Is that how you we, we gauge one? By no, no, no. The coal I'm just saying. It's restoration new. wise, it hasn't gone very far. Smart ass. That's the flux capacitor. Right? No, they're shot. They're the the damper, shock absorber. <laughs> See that? They're full of oil. This one's a little dry, so it'll sputter on startup. That one's a little tight. Those you have to keep filled. A little dash pot. This they call that. German. No, they're not. What German. makes it German? German? It's guten tight. Good and tight. No, it's an SU. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> okay, let's cover that one back up, Sean. Okay. What do we know about these things? So I know that this is a one of one because it has a sidecar, custom built for it. Oh, so custom built. Yeah, this Not. Is, this is a one of one. Got it. He bought it, he redid it. Okay. So the 19, this is a 47, right? This is a 47. 47 Salisbury. They are pretty rare. I did find a few of them out there. You mean to open this? Uh, yeah, let's see what that looks like. It's brand new. Be careful with those snaps, they'll come undone. Yeah, but he had this made for it. No, this no, was, they, this, they, they this was the, part of it. Oh, okay. This was made from Salisbury. Okay, oh, I thought you said it was made afterwards, all right. No, no, this was, this was part of the bike. And this is all the original engine and all that? Because mm -hmm. I've seen some of these where they swapped them out with Honda motors. Actually, this what pulls back, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, two stroke. Oh, it's a Type FM. Fairbanks Morse. What does that mean to me? They're, they're the rarest kind. Oh, yeah? Yeah. God, that thing is funky. It is. Muscle. They are, I mean, they're, they're, they are rare. The good, the, the good news on this, yeah, listen to that. Is this the same motor as it has a, uh, it's the same block as a, and set, for the oil pan as a Kunkoff, Sierra. Okay. Those were those were then dry sumped with tra with a transaxle. This has a separate transmission, so it has a, a uh, separate oil pan. It's the same as an Espada, the Islero, the 400 yeah, that's GT. What I was say. This is a 3.9, right? Four liter motor. So this is a 400 GTS Arama. The good news is that those are, uh, the, the wheel, it has one option, that's the Miura wheels. That's the Miura wheels. Those are, that's an option there, Miura wheels. That's, it's just such a crazy cool car. It's just that uh, what you do with it. it this was, Ferruccio said this was his favorite car because it was the performance of a Miura, but it was the comfort of an Espada. So he liked the, 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 his, the Harama was his favorite car to drive. In fact, it was the only car he actually ever owned from uh, new. Yeah. Well, it tells a lot, doesn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> Just because they're rare, that tells me back then is nobody would buy one, so he had to take it. But they are neat cars. They were not, um, I mean, they're not revered as being, you know, the, the best looking Lamborghini. But no. Uh, but it's definitely cool. The yellow, I don't think they ever, I know they didn't make in yellow, so I've never seen one. And then it's got kind of the funky stripes on it, but uh, but it is what it is. And I mean, I guess, I mean, it's I guess it comes down to what we want to do on um, you know, which cars he wants to sell and and what does he want to sell? Yeah. Yeah. Does he want to sell the Rover? Yeah. How much? Ninety-five. It was a full frame-off restoration. Forty-four thousand miles. And it's gas or diesel? It's gas. Just gas, and it's ninety-seven. It's a ninety-seven NAS. NAS. North American Standard. 
All right. It's got the uh, safari roof rack that goes on it. Yeah, I was going to say, is that something that used to go all the way up here? They're neat cars. They're, they're tight, though. I mean, they're not comfortable to drive in there. The ones I've driven. I just I'm don't driving. know where he's getting the price. I, I mean, they're, that's, I'm, that's thirty thousand over what you could buy ten of them for today. Yeah. All right. Too much. Not an M. Don't know that. I have no idea how to price the Salisbury. I, I wouldn't even know. You don't know what he's asking on this one. I mean, what, I know. Salisbury? I know what they sold for. Yeah. Thirty. Yeah, which is they sold for twenty at, at uh, uh, the RM auction. I was kind of hoping he wanted to sell some cars. Um, okay, then I'd like to have the Shelby. You think he'd sell it at 85? He's in surgery, I know, this afternoon, so. Well, that's not good for us. Um, well, the guy in surgery. <laughs> well, he's surgeon. He's, oh, he's, he's, a, he's a surgeon. I know, but somebody's in surgery, right? He's in surgery. Oh, he's, he, is he having surgery or no, he's, he's performing, performing surgery? He's performing. Yeah, the guy who's having surgery. He's capable of taking a phone call. Yeah. No, I understand that. Tony's saying. I'm saying the guy who's actually in surgery and isn't, isn't having a very good time either. No. I'm sure he's in surgery. Yeah, I would like to have the Shelby at around 85 if we could do that. Um, this little yellow car, I think the number on that's 50, don't you? It, it, the biggest number on it I could come up with with That's the colors the most about, I can do. is yeah, it would be sixty. So fifty to get well, it back here and the color refurbish it and everything, and advance it. I mean, so. it's a neat car, but there really is one online right now for sale. A little better than this, but you know, they're what it is. What it is for for ninety five, and it's done and ready. Um, and they've sold two on Bring a Trailer. Of, in the past you found and those were like 75 and 80 yeah and they, and they yeah 75 and 80 they did not sell which means that that was the real number on it so somebody didn't just buy it for that and then the Healy the the, the little MGA that's a cool car I mean in its best day it's a it's a fifteen or twenty thousand dollar car I don't know what he wants for it yeah the MGA is 10 or 15 yeah it's, on its best day it's 15 or 20 I didn't say the, it's his best the, day the Healy is 15-ish, because to get him running is tedious at best. Yeah. And then we're out on the Rover, and I want to make a run on the Vet, and I don't want him to counter me with 130. 130 for the 63. Let's see if he will, will respond. All right. So there's a. Uh, Nothing for us to do if the gentleman is not available. Wait a minute, wait. we're not going home empty-handed again, are we? Yeah. Do you have any? I mean, is there anything else you have around here? Anything that's cool that that we would like? There's nothing out here in Oklahoma that we would like. There's probably cool. a couple of cars, but I don't. Yeah, we don't know where they're at. Yeah. Okay, so I offered 130 on the Vet, 85 on the Shelby, and 50 on this, and. We have no answer because he's on surgery and we're going home empty. Worst case scenario, he calls us when we're on our way. And then we turn around and come back? If we haven't reached the halfway point, I don't know. So is this where we go do a quick flipper? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> or we go buy that one cool place down the way that builds hot rods? We might could stop in there and see Mr. Kill Tripp. some time. I think we should kill some time. To yeah, we might pop in there. He's, he's expecting you. Okay, yeah, well, let's kill some time just in case. That way, maybe we can take something home. Yeah, because we still got to get gas, too. Yeah, we need fuel. So there you go. All right. We have a plan. So let's do it. Right. Sir, thanks for your time. You're welcome. You Appreciate it. To uh, you can if you want. You're more than invited. Yeah, come on. Well, we got to see some pretty uh, fabulous cars and some not so fabulous cars, but uh, we got a call just a second ago. Uh, I don't think he's going to take my offers. He's thinking about it on the 63 uh, split window, but uh, other than that, he's just uh, one of those guys that likes to shop around and see who will pay the most money. I think I offered him pretty perfect money on everything I made an offer on. Well, that's all. So I think he's in the retail sales area, not the wholesale sales area. So three hours to home.